friends today are going to draw a wreath. Yeah, we're going to draw a Christmas wreath. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with. We're going to use black markers, right? Yeah. Sharpies and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> First, we're going to draw the bow for a wreath. We're going to start up here towards the top of our paper and we're going to draw a square, but we, we want to be a round. We want to make it a rounded square. So I'm going to round the corners. See that? See how the corners aren't really square? Mm-hmm. Right here? Yeah, more right in the center. There you go. And this is the knot for our bow. Good. Oh, oh. and it's got a little <laughs> it's got a little corner on it. Okay, now we're gonna draw the we're gonna draw the bow part. So we're gonna draw two lines that come out on each side, like this, and over here on the other side. We're drawing it really big. Big wreath. A big wreath bow. Okay, now up here at the top, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and we can even go in a little bit and then back out. And I'm going to do that same thing over here. In, back out, and then curve in. Now we want to make our bow look 3D. So down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and curves back into the bottom. And we can do the same thing on the other side, curve into the bottom. Good. Now let's draw some wrinkles up here in the middle of the bow. Look at that. I'm going to even draw a little <laughs> curve that comes around and we could do the same thing over here. Wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle. Wrinkles in our bow. Good. And it's okay that our bows look a little different, right? Because mm -hmm. what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. fun. We... <laughs> and to practice, right? Yes. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw two parts of the bow hanging down. So we're going to draw two lines down the middle. Yeah. And then we can draw another line on the outside and look at the top. See, at the top it's closer together and down at the bottom it gets far apart. Mm -hmm. It's going to flare out at the bottom. Yeah. And then one on the other side. And then we're going to draw an A shape to connect it on each side. Or an upside down feet. Now we're all finished with our bow. We should draw the wreath next, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to draw a zigzag line for the middle of our, our wreath. And we're going to start right here on, on the bow. And we're going to draw it coming around and back over to the other side. So watch me. And we're going to draw this zigzag line. And it's going to be a crazy zigzag line. This is going to be tricky, but you can take your time to draw it. So <laughs> we're going to draw a wreath, the inside of our wreath coming around. And I'm going to look at that. See how I'm, me I'm making some of them messy? Yeah. Some are small, some are big. And we're going to come around all the way over to the other side. Okay. Yeah. And you want it to try and, you want to try and look like a circle when you're all done. Oh, and I like your wreath is going to be a little smaller than mine and that's okay. <laughs> yeah. And then it's going to come around and touch the other side. Good, you did it. Okay, now we're going to draw the outside and we're going to do the same zigzag line, but it's going to be bigger and we're going to go all the way around. So we're going to start up here at the top of our bow and we're going to draw, watch this, we're going to go zigzag and it can be crazy, <laughs> crazy zigzags. And you know what? If you do it fast, sometimes it's a little easier if you do it faster. But see how some are going one direction, some are going the other direction. You don't want to go like this. Yeah, you don't want to be too messy. And then look, see how it connects over here? And then the rest of it is going to be in between the two bows, like that. Yeah, good job. I love how your wreath is a lot smaller than mine. I think it looks awesome. It's a cute wreath. Cute. Cute, cute little wreath. baby wreath. <laughs> All right, now you can connect in between because the wreath keeps going behind the bow. And that's called overlapping, right? The bow is in front of the wreath. Okay, now let's draw the ornaments on our wreath. So I'm going to draw circles, big circles for big ornaments. And I'm going to draw two on this side. And they're going to be about the same size and then two on the right side. All right, now let's draw some smaller ones in between. I'm going to draw two in between each of the bigger ones. I'm going to draw two here and two over here. Now, 
we are decorating our wreath a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. But you guys at home can decorate your wreaths any way you want. You could add candy canes or little presents. You could even, what else could they draw? Snowflakes. Yeah, you guys could draw snowflakes. You could draw anything and add it to your wreath. Now, we're all done drawing our wreaths, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our wreaths. They're gonna look so much better colored in. Now, this part, we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video to match the same color. You finished coloring your wreath and it turned out awesome. I especially love how cute your wreath is. I just want to pinch its little cheeks. <laughs> now I also added shading to the Christmas balls and also a little highlight. And that makes the Christmas ornament look shiny. Yes. And I love that you added the little shiny mark too, but you left the shading off to keep it a little easier. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas wreath. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, you can always pause the video if we ever went too fast. And you could also cut out your wreath and hang it up in your house for a decoration. Yes. That would look awesome. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.